There is so much fun. Oh, hey, give me mint. Hello friends! Today we have the new MakePad 2022 by Huawei. That's a 10-inch tablet which looks like it's been made for fun, but it can do much more. We've totally waited for you so we could open it together for the first time. Let's do it! Inside the box you find more than the standard stuff, with the device itself, a cable and charger, and a keyboard attachment that also acts as a case. The charger is branded as a fast one, but sports a limit of 22.5 watts. The tablet has a pretty standard design, with an aluminum enclosure for the back and sides, while the display is covered by a slab of Gorilla Glass. Despite that, this isn't the most durable tablet out there, so, if we were you, we'd look after it. The bezels on the display are moderately big, while the tablet itself weighs only 460 grams and has a profile of 7.5 mm. The camera array includes an 8 megapixels front facing camera and a 13 megapixels rear facing center with autofocus and a LED flash. On the sides, we find the I.O. which includes a single USB Type-C port, along with four speaker cutouts, which hide Harman Kardon tunes tweeters. Only two per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! The keyboard attachment has a dedicated USB Type-C port for charging, along with an impromptu kickstand, which essentially transforms the tablet into a tiny 10.4-inch laptop. The laptop runs the Harmony OS 2.0, which looks a lot like Apple's iOS while being built on the Android kernel that's open source. Since Huawei devices can't use Google services, you're left with the App Gallery, which started off strong but has stagnated its progress, as Huawei's market share keeps dropping and dropping. The OS looks good, but the lack of apps can hinder even the best designed software. Thankfully, for the more tech-savvy consumers, you can download APKs from the internet and install them manually. The battery life is good enough, with the tablet managing to last through a whole workday of use. Sadly, the Kirin 710A SoC on the inside isn't the most powerful, sporting 8 ARM Cortex cores in a big little configuration. When compared to other tablets, this one is at the bottom of our benchmark tests. The same can be said about the Mali G57 GPU. However, while performance isn't the best, the stability is through the roof, with there being no thermal throttling or increases in temperature. The hotspot of the tablet reached only 31 degrees Celsius, which is fantastic. In our opinion, spare yourself the hassle with the MatePad and get yourself something more reliable and not under regulations or political restrictions from the entire Western Hemisphere. While the tablet is totally usable, most of the time you will have to go out of your way to look for solutions for problems due to the lack of Google services. Thanks for staying with us through the review and leave a comment with your opinion on the MatePad 10.4. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.